logic exists, including rules such as non-contradiction. Both A and not A cannot be true at the same time and in the same way. If a person makes a relative claim, it may be true for you, yet is not for me, then that claim may be true for them, yet not for any other person. If you cannot see the incoherence in them claiming that absolute truth cannot exist, itself an absolute claim, then please do not drive or operate any heavy machinery. It follows that relativism is self-referentially absurd. One example of this is the claim there are no true propositions. Likewise, the claim the rule of non-contradiction is invalid demonstrates that the rule of non-contradiction is valid. The rule and the claim are mutually exclusive, which exemplifies the rule and is also paraconsistent, avoiding the principle of an explosion or meaningless results. To infer relativism requires the use of basic deduction and induction, so to be a consistent relativist one would need to abandon reason and logic. Imagine a court of law if there were no true propositions. In the absence of true propositions, evidence would not be a concept. For one example, if a DNA sample found on a murder weapon matched the DNA of a defendant, the proposition DNA does not change would not be regarded as true. And a claim by the defendant, my DNA has changed, would also not be regarded as true. Before human beings existed, the proposition there are no human beings was true. Before human beings existed, the principles of logic existed. The idea that we are the measure of everything, that true propositions are contingent upon humanity, is highly anthropocentric and false. We have established that true propositions exist and they are not contingent upon human beings. Have true propositions always existed? Where are they? Of what are they composed? If the universe did not exist, would the proposition, there is no universe, be true? To claim of a kitchen table, it just exists, for no reason, would be ludicrous. Everything has an explanation, in the necessity of its own nature, or an external cause. Please explain why true propositions exist. Please explain how we, supposedly accidentally overdeveloped upon scum, understand prime numbers and understand that there is no largest prime number. If absolutely nothing ever existed, no quantum potentials or the like, there would be nothing to change that nothingness with, so absolutely nothing would continue to exist indefinitely. You exist, and I exist, so absolutely nothing has never existed. Some entity has always existed.
If you believe that there is no uncreated creator, please explain how absolutely nothing became you. If no uncreated creator exists, then true propositions transcend the reason for their existence. True propositions do not depend upon the existence of the universe, upon mankind, upon time, upon anything physical for their existence. Please explain why an uncreated creator would depend upon any of those factors. An exaggerated invention of mankind's may be so dependent, yet there is no reason for any uncreated entity to be so limited. For you to believe, or to lack a belief, in any creator, it is necessary that an uncreated creator exists. The End